morning everyone i'm going to do a little video a little deeper dive into my mercury mark 6a and the a stands for anniversary which would uh, put it uh, uh, as a 1959 and uh, this uh, video is going to be a little bit more personal than my other videos are because i'm getting a lot of comments about oh you're polluting the earth and you're doing horrible things for the environment and these motors need to be scrapped and melted and I think that as we get older and we run engines like this, these, it brings back memories of our childhood, it brings back memories of our loved ones, uh, they got a unique sound. And this is my story on this motor. When my uh, father came back from the war, he fought in uh, Okinawa and a few other places, and then he got... Uh, uh, tagged for the Korean War, then he went to law school, and him and his brother left Minnesota and came out to the Pacific Northwest, and the first thing they did was they bought an old Crestliner boat, and they bought this Mercury motor, and I grew up with this motor, uh, we, my dad was a good fisherman, and we went all over, mainly in lakes, now we're in the salt water, but uh, I remember when I was a kid, thinking I am the only one that ever has an orange motor and I always called it orange I guess it's added or red but I was so proud of this motor and I was so proud of my dad he was so big and strong and uh, I thought I was just the coolest kid I would always hang over the bow thinking I was like Superman flying through the water in my hydroplane and uh, you know I'd always look down from the cabins and you could always tell that was your boat because you were the only guy, the only kid on the lake with an orange motor. And uh, my dad passed away a few years ago from cancer. And uh, this is just a sound that will be with me forever. And I think that it kind of explains why we like old outboards. It's not so much that they're polluting the world and they're just junk and they're slow and they're noisy, but it's our memories. So I'm going to run this for you. It's my personal memory, and I don't even take it out very often because um, I kind of like looking at it more than using it. But uh, we're going to use it this morning, and I'm going to put it around. It's got the automatic transmission, which isn't really automatic, but the neutral button and the forward button. And all you do is you are a little slower, and you put it into forward. These, these Mercury's, they go opposite uh, the Mark 6's uh, to go fast to turn them outward. So when you're really, you're in a pinch and you're trying to keep the thing going, you always turn it inward to go faster to keep it going and then you just end up shutting it off. Uh, but they're super hard engines to work on. Uh, I, only, I have about three of these and I'm not going to get any more. They're, they're just atrocious to work on. And I think as the years go by, you're going to see fewer and fewer of them because they're just, uh, the average OMC tinkerer is gonna have trouble with something like this. Uh, this is not, not an easy engine to work on. So I'm gonna turn it up a little and then I, in my head, I'm gonna envision it's 1976 and I'm on the lake with my dad fishing. You guys can think of whatever you wanna think of.
now we're trolling for a nice big rainbow trout in eastern Washington. Alright, thank you so much for watching and thank you for keeping your uh, your outboards alive. I think it's important even for the next generation, two stroke or not. Thank you.